So I'm going to be talking about the book The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I'm first going to start out by talking about the author a little bit. He was born on August 24th in 1977. He went to Indian Springs School for high school, and then he went to Kenyon College where he double majored in English and Religious Studies. He, he also has a YouTube channel as well with his brother Hank, and he's also married and has two kids. For the plot of The Fault in Our Stars, the book focuses on the character Hazel Grace. She is 16 years old and has thyroid cancer and also has meds in her lungs, which makes it hard for her to breathe, so she has to carry an oxygen tank around with her. One day while she's at a support group for children with cancer, she meets Augustus Waters, who also has cancer, but he's currently in remission. Throughout the book, their relationship grows, and they soon end up falling in love. At one point in the book, they decide to read each other's favorite books. This leads the pair to go to Amsterdam to meet the author of Hazel's favorite book to have some question an to have some questions answered that they both uh, came up with while reading the book. Some of the themes of the novel are life and death. Hazel and Augustus both have cancer, and um, as most of us know, cancer can kill you. And a second theme for The Fault in Our Stars is love. In the novel, uh, Augustus and Hazel both end up falling in love. A third theme is courage. Personally, I think it takes a lot of courage to live with cancer like both of the main characters do. And lastly, one of the themes is that everyone has a fault, even the stars, hence the title. Um, Hazel and Augustus's fault is the fact that they have cancer. For the style, The Fault in Our Stars is a novel, and it's a young adult novel, but it also has some romance. The Fault in Our Stars is very similar to his other books, An Abundance of Catherine and Looking for Alaska. So I would recommend reading The Fault in Our Stars if you like John Green's other books, or if you like romance or young adult novels. Um, I think that you would enjoy The Fault in Our Stars if you like any three of those categories. Um, so if you want to find out what happens to Hazel and Augustus, you'll have to read The Fault in Our Stars to find out.